The Minister of National Security confirms that government is looking at legislation to protect prison officers. This in response to Senator Saddam Hussein's question in the Senate on what steps are being taken to protect and safeguard the lives of prison officers. The most recent killing of a prison officer occurred last Friday and on Monday, Minister Dillon met with the Prison Officers Association, the Prison's Commissioner and Acting Commissioner of Police to explore additional initiatives to provide protection for prison officers. Legal framework to treat with people who commit offenses against not only prison officers, but members of the protective services and defense and security services. Additionally, we have adopted an interagency approach utilizing all agencies of national security to bring to bear on issues pertinent to prison officers and in fact the wider defense and protective members, Madam President. Minister Dillon also confirmed that counseling has been provided for the family of Devendra Buduram, the prison officer who was gunned down on Friday afternoon while in traffic on Frederick Street in Port of Spain. Senator Khadija Amin asked whether the family would receive compensation from the state. We have provided that facility to members of the Defense and Protective Service, including prison officers in the past. And once it merits the law and conditions so to do, that will be done, Madam President. The funeral service of murdered prison officer Devendra Buduram will take place on Thursday. In a release today, the prison service confirmed that public visitations to all prison establishments have been cancelled on Thursday. It confirmed the cancellation is effected in order to facilitate the attendance of prison officers to the funeral service of slain prison officer 2, Devendra Buduram. Normal visitations will resume on Friday, February 2nd, 2018.